What's up everybody? Welcome to Elevation Dent Company. In today's video, we've got a Honda Accord here with a super deep fender dent. Check out the damage here on this fender. This thing took a nasty hit. And here's a look at it from the opposite direction. From what I was told, a kid was riding a bike and took a nosedive right into this fender. On this fender, we've got three body lines that need reconstructed. We've got this upper one, we've got this one running through the center, and then we've got this wheel well lip. The main impact on this fender was up here on the upper body line. As you can see, it's all knotted up and through here. This metal got pushed in so far on the upper half, the lower half had nowhere to go, so it created an Audi. Unfortunately, on the lower part here, this buckle, as you can see all these lines going through the clear coat, the clear coat is spider crack. Clear coat being busted like that, we cannot put no glue on this lower half because that clear coat is extremely brittle and it can pull directly off the car. All that metal being pushed in, as you can see, we've got this massive gap in through here. With the hood in a down position, you can see how much it overlaps the fender. On a large fender dent like this, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and I'm going to take this door off. Now I'm going to grab some glue tabs and I'm going to start out using two eye bars. I'm going to heat these up a little bit, hit it with some high strength glue. I'm going to place one here on the upper part of the fender. I'm going to place my second one here on the lower part. Now I'm gonna run two hooks in, connect my center beam, hook up my strap. All right, I'm all strapped up here. Now I'm gonna throw my glue pulling ram underneath the car. I'm gonna adjust my winch down to the lower setting so I get a more direct pull with the fender. This glue pulling ram can be mounted anywhere on the vehicle, the front, the back, underneath the tire, or the pinch welds. But with my winch right here dead in the center, you can see I wasn't making a direct pull on this. I was actually right here in the middle of the, the uh, fender here. So I went ahead and put an extension plate on. This right here will pull my winch out to the side, so now I can get a direct pull right into that damage. I'm gonna start out first with this high strength tab. I'm gonna make my first couple pulls right here in this vicinity, staying away from this cracked paint. I'm going to slide my rod through, attach my hook. So while I got some tension on this, I'm going to grab my knock down here and I put a couple extensions on it. The benefits of this is I can come in and I can knock that high spot down while having pressure on this tab. You can see inside of here that area where the clear coat was spider cracking, it's starting to get even worse. The more tension and heat I put on this, this might actually end up spreading all the way out to here. I hope it doesn't get that bad, but we'll see as we keep going with this. Now that I got that lower buckle tapped out, still got a lot of tension on this. I'm gonna now come in with an interchangeable rod with a rubber ball on top. I'm gonna use that ball and come in and try to relieve some of the pressure off of this. The lower part of this then will never come out with all this metal locked up in here. All right, I got in there with that soft rubber tip. I got that metal to move there on top. What I'm gonna do now is remove this glue tab. I'm gonna switch up to a shorter one and start working my way into this section. I'm gonna switch up to a more smaller tab. I'm gonna place a smaller tab right in through here. Pop my hook in. Now that I got pressure on that upper half, I'm gonna take that same rubber ball. Now I'm gonna come in with that tool right on this body line and put some pressure on it. Slide it right down into the fender. All right guys, we're slowly starting to walk this dent out. I got a couple more tabs I'm gonna put on this before I get on this with some paintless dent repair tools. I still got some pretty heavy low spots and some crowns back here in this lower half.
The glue pulling ram has done its job. It pulled a large portion of that metal up. Now I'm gonna switch my technique up a little bit. I'm gonna switch onto a more smaller glue pulling tab. Here's the smaller tabs we're gonna be using. I'm also moving to a more faster setting glue. I'll be using my mini lifter to pick all these low spots up. If your glue's been sitting around for a long period of time, I always like to throw some heat on it. I got a really large portion of this metal pulled out, but it's nowhere near finished. Now it's time to get off the glue and to get on some PDR tools. I'm gonna first start off with this ultra dent tool. I got a small extension on it. I'm gonna start out first with a blunt soft tip. I'm gonna slide it up in the inner fender. I'm gonna work out all the waves and all the low spots with this soft tip. Then I'm gonna move on to a more sharp tip. Now I'm gonna switch up to this insanely sharp razor tip. I'll be using that same exact interchangeable tool. This tip right here is gonna do all the finishing detail work. When you have damaged paint or spider crack clear coat in that area that's considered a weak spot generally what happens is when you get in there and start pushing it all that just starts to fan out those little lines that you see right there used to be super small as you can see the little ones down and through here took a little bit of super glue and i grabbed a little touch-up brush i came in here really thin and just dabbed some super glue inside those areas this will help you out a lot to actually finish the repair now obviously this is just a temporary fix this spot right here does need to be sanded and repainted that super glue stopped this paint from busting all the way down into here it's really unfortunate because this panel could have been saved completely with paintless dent repair but that's just how it is with extreme dents and damaged paint we can't save them all but i will say i am going to get in here and try to make this look a little bit better i got some universal silver paint here now obviously this is not the exact color but this is just a temporary fix now I'm gonna let that dry up. So now with that dried up, I'm gonna sand. This is just gonna flatten that out a little bit. And I'm gonna put one more layer now. So even though that's not an exact color match, it'll add a little bit of a layer of protection until the customer gets it painted later on down the road if they ever go down that route. Let's go ahead and get this door put back on the car. So now I got the door mounted back on the car. One thing I noticed is that this fender is sitting in just a little bit, as you can see, it's not very much, but when I open up this door, it's almost catching that fender right there. So this fender has got to come out a little bit. All I'm gonna do is just take a metal spoon, slide it up inside this gap right here. Just bring that fender out. Now it's fitting a little bit better. I'm gonna come down here a little bit, pull that out a little bit like that. That looks a lot better now. Let's open this door one more time. Yeah, we got a lot more clearance in there now. With the hood latched, as you can see, it's sitting flush with the fender now. That's a wrap on this video guys. Let me know what you think about this repair down in the comments below. If auto body paint and paintless dent repair is your thing, consider subscribing to the channel. Most of our tools and all of our online trainings are linked down in the description below. Thank you guys for the support. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take care guys.